the Wi-Fi 6E router does not have to be the most expensive to be the best. This is TP-Link's new Archer AXC300 AXC16000 Wi-Fi 6E router and we think we found the best Wi-Fi 6E router in the market. Let's do a quick unboxing. The Wi-Fi 6E router comes with quick start guides, power adapter and an Ethernet cable. Now let's look at the specs. The Wi-Fi 6E router is powered by quad-core CPU running at 2GHz, 1GB RAM, quad-band Wi-Fi 6E, beam forming, OFDMA, MU-MIMO, WPA3 and can connect up to 200 devices or more. In the port options, we have one 2.5 gig LAN and WAN port and two 10 GB WAN and LAN ports. One port is SFP Plus, also known as Fiber and RJ45 combo, four 1 gig LAN ports and one USB 3 port. There's also a reset button, WPS button and power button. Let's talk about design and features. Archer AXC300 has a solid good overall construction and can cover up to 3000 square feet. It can provide up to 16 gigabits per second of wireless bandwidth and following is a breakdown. 6G and 2 5G bands can support speed up to 4804 megabits per second and 2.4G band can support up to 1148 megabits per second. And there are 8 external antennas and router supports TP-Link's one mesh option which will allow you to add multiple Wi-Fi extenders. Now let's do some performance coverage and speed test. So we placed the Wi-Fi 6E router in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it and it is in the lowest part of the house. For this test, we're using Intel AX210 556E card installed in our client laptop and we're also using an Ethernet wired computer as an iPerf3 server. So the total square footage of the house is 5000 square feet. We tested connections in extreme corners and each floor of the house. We used only 5G and 6G connection and ran tests three times at each location to get the best possible results. So let's review the results. First location, which is within the 5 feet of the router in the basement, we achieved 1.17 gigabits per second Wi-Fi speed for 5G1 and 1.11 gigabits per second for 5G2 and 1.2 gigabits per second for 6G, which is the highest Wi-Fi speed we ever achieved. Excellent start. Next, we moved all the way to the left corner in the basement and here we achieved 590 megabits per second for 5G1, 552 megabits per second for 5G2 and 444 megabits per second for 6G. So as expected, 6G has even less range compared to 5G, but overall, still very good results. Moving on to the main floor to the right side of the house, we achieved 237 megabits per second for 5G1, 350 megabits per second for 5G2, and 179 megabits per second for 6G. Moving on to the left side, we achieved 22 megabits per second for 5G1, and 72 megabits per second for 5G2. And sadly, we could not find 6G signals here, so we are a range for 6G signals here. Moving on to the first floor, on the right side, we achieve 150 megabits per second for 6G, 500 megabits per second for 5G2, and 310 megabits per second for 5G1. And moving on to the left side, we achieve 25 megabits per second for 5G1, 117 megabits per second for 5G2, and again, we could not find 6G signals here as well. Moving on to the garage, we achieve approximately 8 megabits per second for both 5Gs, and again, no 6G signals here which is acceptable considering Wi-Fi signals has to go through multiple walls and great distance. In the next test, we're using 10GB NAS connected to 10GB network port of the Wi-Fi 6E router and using Wi-Fi 6E card-based laptop connected to 6G at 2.4 gigabits per second, we ran a file transfer speed test using 5GB file. As you can see, the 10GB network card is a big upgrade and we were able to saturate the 2.4 gigabits per second wireless speed and achieve 200 megabits per second wireless transfer speed. In the next test, we're using a 10GB NAS connected to 10GB client and we transfer the same 5GB file between the NAS and the client and we were able to achieve over 5 gigabits per second LAN file transfer speed, which is a great achievement for wireless router in my opinion and no other wireless router currently in the market offer this option. It also saves you a lot of money to buy a separate 10GB switch. In the final test, we used USB 3 flash drive shared as a file server on Wi-Fi 6E router and AXE 3000 performance was average scoring 54 megabits per second read and write score. Now let's talk about the setup of this Wi-Fi 6 router. Setup was a very easy three-step process. All you have to do is download the TP-Link app to your Android or iOS device, connect your router to your modem, or if you have Fios with Ethernet connection, you can connect the router's WAN port directly to the Ethernet cable and you don't need a modem. Then just follow the instructions in the app to complete the setup. There are tons of settings available to configure. You can also use TP-Link's web-based configuration to manage the router's familiar configuration options. Also, router's first 10GB port is by default the WAN port, but you can change that role to other 10GB or 2.5GB port during the setup process or any time afterwards. 
This router is definitely gamers and professionals dream come true and also allows parents to use extensive parental controls to keep an eye on their kids and block malware websites with built-in securities. You can also modify wireless band settings separately and you can also keep the separate SSIDs for each band to multiple channel selections and there are a ton of security options to keep your Wi-Fi secure. Let's do the final summary. TP-Link Archer AXC300 AXC16000 Wi-Fi 6E router performs extremely well in this review. The Wi-Fi 6E routers offer industry's first multi 10 gig ports and 10 GB SFP fiber port for higher performance network data transfers. Overall, the Wi-Fi 6E router produces good Wi-Fi coverage and can cover up to 3000 square feet house without any problem. It offers tons of configuration and advanced settings and the 500 price tag for Wi-Fi 6E router that is good for its hardware and overall performance is an excellent buy in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of the review in the comments below. If you like this video, please sub and like to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.